Welcome back to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. In this video, I'm gonna show you a great way to mop your floor when you have to use a regular mop and bucket system. And to do this, I'm gonna be mopping with the Oceder Mop and Bucket. This is not sponsored by Oceder, however, I think they have a great product because this bucket system keeps your dirty water separate from your clean water, so you're always mopping with clean water. I think that is such an important feature to help keep your floors cleaner. Do make sure to stick around till the end though because if you are mopping your wood floor, I'm gonna show you an extra ingredient that you need to add so that you don't damage your wood floor. So don't you don't wanna miss that. But first, if you are new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future uploads about cleaning tips and hacks. But now let's not waste any more time and let's mop this floor. Now this is the newest model of the Oceder mop. The old Oceder mop doesn't have the separate container that holds the clean water, so just keep that in mind. But if you do have an older mop version, just get a bucket with clean water and stick it right in there. And that works really well too. But otherwise, this right here is a container for the clean water. Now, this next thing is really important. You don't wanna miss this. You're gonna put water in your bucket, but you wanna make sure that it is hot. So I brought this water to a boil and it's cooled down just a little bit from that. The first element that you need is heat. So in this case, hot water. The number two thing you need is a detergent. So in this case, we are going to use a laundry pod. Now, the reason why I like to use this is because the same cleaning power that cuts through grease and dirt in your laundry as cleaning up grease and dirt from your floor. So we're gonna just go ahead and add that right in. I'm gonna slosh this around a little bit to let that mix in. And you can see that water right in there. It's getting soapy from the detergent. Now what I'm gonna talk about now is optional. I think the scent from the laundry pod is really nice. I like that a lot. But if you prefer, you can. Add a few drops of essential oils or fragrance oil into this if there's a particular scent that you are partial to. You could also add tea tree oil, which has some antibacterial properties, which is always nice for cleaning as well. And then the third element that you need to help with cleaning is agitation. So in this case, it's going to be our mop. So just to review, you wanna have heat, detergent, and agitation. Those three in combination do the best job to helping your surface to become clean. So we are going to open up our clean water compartment. There it is, filling up our clean water bucket. And then we're going to get to work. With the Oceder mop, you can use the pedal right here to spin away the moisture so that your mop can be as damp or as dry as you want it to be. By the way, this works great for baseboards too. So if you wanna clean your baseboards, do it before you clean your floors so that you're working with a clean mop. And you just wipe along your baseboards and it does a great job. Now, as promised, I told you that if you had a hardwood floor, that there's one other ingredient you need to add, and that ingredient is isopropyl alcohol. You want to add about two tablespoons of that into your water compartment. You'll do this because the alcohol will make the water dry faster so that it won't be on your floor as long. Now, you can do this if you were using just regular tile as well, but that's really optional. But definitely, if you have a wood floor, I think this is a great way to help for it to dry a little bit more quickly. Also, make sure to give your spin mop a couple of extra spins to really dry out your mop again because you don't want water sitting on your hardwood floor for too long because over time it can damage it. So hey, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below on if you have a wood floor or if you have a stone floor like me or if you have a tile floor and any tips that you have that makes cleaning your floor easier as well. Now, if you have watched our channel at all, you know that while I do love using the Oceder mop and it's my favorite mop on the market, most of the time I use a vac mop mop to mop my kitchen and my main living area. I've done a review on my favorite back mop and I'm gonna leave a link to that review right here. Click 